Hello and welcome to St Peter's Church Wellsbourne Children's Church Session for this Pentecost. We are continuing our online children's church activities whilst we can't meet during the coronavirus outbreak. My name is Tony, I am the Children and Families Worker at St Peter's. This video contains a song and a prayer, then we're going to have the Pentecost story from the Bible. There's some activity, some suggestions and some other suggestions for you for further viewing and songs to listen to like to so you might want to have a pencil ready or be ready to pause the video or have another browser window open if you want to check out the other links and stuff. so we're going to start with a little prayer this is a simple little prayer with actions if you see the words are on the screen now i wonder do you know how to say thank you in sign language we say thank you in sign language you do this thank you so we're going to say Thank you, God, that you love me. Thank you that you watch. Imagine you've got binoculars watching over us. And thank you that you love everyone. Amen. Thank you, God, that you love me. Thank you that you watch over us. Thank you. You love everyone. Amen. In this story that comes just after Jesus went back to heaven, it tells us how the Holy Spirit was sent to his followers, just as he had promised. When he goes up to heaven, we call this day Ascension. We celebrated that last week. And when the Holy Spirit comes down, we call this Pentecost. So today we're going to look at the story of Pentecost from the book of Acts. When the day of Pentecost came, the followers of Jesus were all together. Suddenly there was a sound like rushing wind that came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what looked like tongues of fire coming down. The flames separated and settled on people, but they didn't hurt them. Each person was filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in foreign languages they didn't know because the Holy Spirit made it so that they could. Other Jews from many countries who had come to Jerusalem for the feast heard the commotion and were amazed to hear them declaring the wonders of God in their own languages. What does this mean? they asked. Some, however, made fun out of the disciples and said, These men have had too much wine to drink. These people are not drunk, said Peter only nine o'clock in the morning. What you are seeing is what the prophet Joel spoke about. He said in his book, in the last days God will pour out his Holy Spirit on people. Jesus of Nazareth performed miracles, wonders and signs. He was sent from God. You handed him over to be put to death. But God raised him from the dead. We are all witnesses that Jesus is alive and is now sat at the right hand of God the Father in heaven. So let everyone in Israel be sure of this. God has made Jesus, whom you crucified, both Lord and Messiah. The word Messiah or Christ means chosen one, the one specially chosen and sent by God whom the Jewish people had been waiting years to receive. People listening had just seen a miracle. The Holy Spirit had allowed people to speak in languages that they had never learnt. And now Peter was telling these people that they were partly responsible for getting Jesus killed. So they were afraid, and they were worried. And they asked Peter and the other apostles, What should we do? And this is what Peter said. Say sorry to God for the bad things you've done in your lives and be baptised in the name of Jesus for the forgiveness of your sins. You will then receive the gift of the Holy Spirit as well. This Holy Spirit is like God's special promise, his special help for you and for your children. Those who accepted the Holy Spirit were baptised. About 3,000 people were baptised that day. 
And these people began to meet together to learn from the apostles. They broke bread as Jesus had taught them to do, and they prayed together. All the believers shared what they had had, and they shared it with other people. They met together in temple court, praising God. Each day more and more Christians joined them, and these were the very first. Now here are some craft activity ideas for you. Firstly, as we did last year and the year before, you could have a go at making a flame hat. You could use colored card or crepe paper or whatever materials you have to hand. And you make the flame over your head as you can see in the pictures. Do you remember while the apostles had flames over their head? It was a symbol of the Holy Spirit. So maybe as you make yourself a flaming hat, you might like to pray and ask that you can receive the Holy Spirit as well. One of the other symbols of the Holy Spirit in the Bible is the dove. Now you can look on Google for dove templates and you will find lots of different ones there that you can print out, you can have a go at, some origami, all sorts of different things. Here's an idea on screen of how you could make a very simple dove from a paper plate or if you don't have a paper plate you could circle from a piece of plain paper this idea comes from the young catholics website you might want to check that out they have loads of great ideas on there now i'm going to bring up some, on the screen some suggestions for your further viewing as well you might want to open a separate internet browser window so that you can put those in there or make a note of what they are or be ready to pause the video button down. Firstly there's a couple of song suggestions here. This song on screen, the Fruit of the Spirit song, is about how the Holy Spirit gives us the fruits of the Spirit and in this song you can learn what those fruits of the Spirit are and it's a good way to memorize them. If you're at Wellsbourne Primary School then you've been learning about them this year and you probably heard this song so I wonder if you have memorized them all yet. You can check out this video, which is for younger children, this little light of mine from Listener Kids. They do a lot of videos for preschool and key stage age children. Next, some ideas for some further viewing for you. You could look at this video from Saddleback Kids about Pentecost. It's called God Sends the Holy Spirit. It's just about three and a half minutes long, gives us some explanation of Pentecost as well. These fun short explaining videos are pitched roughly for primary school age children as well. Or perhaps you would like to find out a bit more about what happens to Peter next. You could look at Crossroads Kids Club and all God's story and search for Peter Peaches. As we come to the end of our session today, I'm going to read out a little prayer for us. And of course, as ever, if you'd like to join in with the prayer, then you can do so by saying Amen at the end. We're going to pray especially for the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you are God. I praise you because you are holy. And I thank you for dwelling in my heart. Thank you for working in my life. Help me to see you clearly. Help me to follow you and recognize your leading. I need you. I ask you for your help and comfort today. Please look after me, my family, and my friends help me to walk in you the spirit of god grow fruit in my life love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self-control amen thank you all for viewing today do come back again next week we will continue to post these weekly sunday school videos during the coronavirus period you can also check out my channel for Bible stories for younger children, RE homeschooling videos for different ages of children up to GCSE, and so on. If you'd like to receive updates of what I post, and then hit the subscribe button and click on that bell icon to get alerts when new things are uploaded to the website. Thank you for coming. I hope you all have a great week. God bless.